Hey, what's happening guys? I've got a cool project for you today. This that you see here is an Arduino based stopwatch. It's really simple. We've got an Arduino Nano, two buttons, two resistors, and a display. So let's take a quick look at the hookup for this. The wiring is really simple. So from the Nano, we're sending five volts and ground to the top rail. And we're also sending ground to the bottom rail. Now our two switches each get five volts coming into one terminal. They go across the divide and coming out of the other terminal, it's just the opposite. That way, no matter how you hook it up, it'll work. We have uh, 10K resistors pulling them to ground. Now, for the start switch, the green switch on the same row as the resistor, we are going to D2. And the stop switch, same row as this resistor, is coming to D3. Now our OLED is getting five volts in ground to VCC and ground. A serial clock, the green line, comes over to A5. And a serial data, the white line, comes over to A4. So, the way this is gonna work is to start and reset, you press the green button. To stop it and view your time, you press the red button. That's all there is to it. Let's take a look at the code. All right, here's the code for the Arduino stopwatch. We have a couple of includes. The first one is the wire library because we're using an I squared C display. The second is the Adafruit SSD 1306 driver. Then we have the OLED reset to find, and we create the Adafruit SSD 1306 called display with the argument of OLED reset, which we define up here. Then we're going to create three unsigned long variables, start, finish, and elapsed. And we're going to go into our setup. This section here just sets up our display. So we begin the display using the SSD 1306 and we're going to grab 3.3 volts off of the little regulator and we're going to start it at the hex address of OX3C. We're going to show the little Adafruit splash screen and clear the display. Then we're going to set our two buttons which are connected to D2 and D3 to input. We're going to set our text size for one, our color for white, and put our cursor in the upper left. Then we're going to print green to start with a carriage return and red to stop to the display buffer. Then we will show the buffer. We'll skip that for now. And we'll come down here to our loop. Again, we set up our display. And then we're going to check the state of the buttons. If you have pressed the green button, then start time equals current millis. We're going to delay 200 milliseconds for bounce. And we're going to send started to the display buffer and show the buffer. Uh, then if you press the red button, we're going to set finished equal to millis do our debounce and call a function called display result, which is right up here. Our function display result. We'll do our screen setup again. Create three floats, hour, minute, second, and milliseconds. Another unsigned long called over. And we're going to say elapsed time equals finished minus start. Then hours equals elapsed time divided by 360,000, the number of seconds in an hour. Our over equals elapsed modulo 360,000. Then minutes equals over 
divided by 60,000. And we'll create a new over, which is over modulo 60,000. Our seconds is new over divided by 1,000, number of milliseconds. And milliseconds equal over modulo 1,000. Then we will send elapsed time to the buffer and send the value for elapsed to the buffer. Send stop time to the buffer and then send hours with no decimal point, minutes with no decimal point, seconds with no decimal point, and milliseconds with no decimal point all to the buffer. Then we will show the buffer, or no, then we'll send a blank line and show the buffer. And that's it. It's that simple. Let's go play with it. Everything is set and ready to go. So let's zoom in so you can get a better look at the screen. So you can see it says green to start, red to stop. And the flickering that you're seeing is just a function of the camera. It is perfectly solid to the eyes. So started, stopped. And let me zoom in here so we get a better look at the screen. And you can see that it was 1995 milliseconds or one second 995 milliseconds. Now you can just do it again and let it run a little bit longer. And you can see that time it was five seconds, 400 and 20 milliseconds and that's it that is your super simple arduinos stopwatch i hope you enjoyed this if you did please give me a thumbs up comment share and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you next time